Hyundai Motors has rolled out a truck-based camping car. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, news, and so much more. If you're new to this channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. Guys, are you gonna make sure to stay to the end because the price of this is gonna blow your mind. So some very exciting news out of South Korea. Uh, I read this story on the Korean Herald uh, July 2nd, 2020. So Hyundai Motors, which is based out of South Korea, and they're also very popular in the United States, they have just rolled out a truck car camper, okay? Uh, the name of the camper is the Poor Rest. So the chassis is actually based on Hyundai's uh, small utility truck, the uh, Porter. So they took Porter and they added Rest, so you have the poorest. According to government data out of South Korea, believe it or not, RVing is getting very popular in South Korea also. So between uh, 2014 and 19, it's about 108 million US dollars in sales for RVs in South Korea. So let's go through some of the specs, guys, okay? The overall length, it's gonna be about 18.5 feet long from bumper to the uh, rear cap, okay, or rear, rear bumper. The width about seven feet wide and the height about 9.5 feet high. So this is gonna be a pretty compact camper, camper car. So I was unable to find the weight of this uh, camper car, okay, but here are the power plant specs. It's a 2.5 liter diesel making 133 horsepower, 191 pounds of torque. So listen, this is, you know, you're not towing a, a big vehicle behind here, but it's a, it's a small package. And there's some pretty cool features uh, that I was able to find online. Five-speed automatic transmission. This is rear wheel drive. The front tires are 195, 70, 15. So those are gonna be real cheap to change. Here's what's really cool. It's fully functional. So there is a, what they call a, uh, a smart room, okay? And it's basically, it's a rear slide, but it's in the back portion, okay? And by opening that slide, you get about another 31 inches of space. And that's gonna allow you to have a pretty big bedroom in the back. All right, it's designed as a four passenger vehicle, right? So you have the, the driver and passenger up front, and then behind that, they are very good at using, um, utility, right? Hyundai designed this really well. So you have bench seats that will actually fold up to bucket seats with seat belts. Those same bench seats can fold, those bucket seats can fold back down to bench seats, right? They make a bed. There's a table in the middle. You can push that down, make a bed. And then also you can use that as a table, a dining table to eat. Above that table and those utility bench seats, you have a smart bed, right? And it's a bed that actually comes down uh, electronically from the the roof cap, that is rather large. You can fit probably two people in there. Very well done. The interior of the smart camper or the camper car, uh, it's very well appointed. So the galley is stainless steel. There is no stove, okay? There is uh, hot and cold water. So there are tanks, but they don't give specifications regarding the size. There's a microwave oven and there's a rather large refrigerator. You also have a wet bath with a full shower and the toilet in the shower. Uh, very well designed, looks something out like out of an airplane. Lots of uh, drawer storage, as well as overhead cabinet storage with hidden hinges. You go to the back, you have your bedroom. When that slide is open, ample space for somebody six feet or above, according to videos I've seen. There's also a television on board. There is a smart controller uh, that controls the lighting. It tells you what your tank levels are. There is a DC air conditioner, and that will run, according to Hyundai, if uh, the batteries are fully charged, it will run six hours without a charge. There is an exhaust vent. And please keep in mind that these uh, vehicles could also could be outfitted with solar. Now, I don't, didn't get the specifics on it, but solar is available also. The smart controller is also able to be controlled using an app uh, via Bluetooth and at least controls the lights and some other functions. Uh, it appears that the outside has a hookups for electric there's an outdoor shower with hot and cold water and there's also some storage on the outside as well as it looks like a manual awning for the passenger side of the motorhome so guys you're probably thinking what does this thing cost now it's only being sold in korea right now however 
I think if, if Hyundai's smart and they can bring this car camper over to the United States at a price that's similar to what they're selling it for Korea, these things are gonna fly off the lot, okay? So doing the conversion from what it costs in South Korea to here, the entry level's approximately $41,000. And then your high-end one, and I don't know what the options and specs are as far as what's making it a high-end, at $72,000. Now, that is, I mean, $41,000, that, that's like a travel trailer, right? You're not getting anything motorized new for that price. Now, my question is going to be, is this going to have Hyundai's same warranty, right? So Hyundai probably has the best warranty in the industry. 10-year uh, powertrain, 5-year bumper-to-bumper. I've owned two of them. I mean, I drove them into the ground, like with... <laughs> little maintenance mj owned the sonata and she traded in just because she got sick of it because like the thing was 120,000 miles and was still going strong we love hyundai state to us they are great cars if they can bring something to the united states and sell it under that kind of banner with that kind of warranty man they, they were not gonna be able to make them fast enough put it in the comment what do you guys think have you seen this what do you think about it also uh, would you be interested in something like this in the links below, I am gonna put a video to uh, another YouTube channel, it's called Asian Petrol Head. He's actually out of uh, South Korea and he did uh, quite an extensive review on this. A lot more information that I'm giving you right now because he shows it on the video. So go check that out. And then to the left of us, we're gonna put our RV DIY as well as our RV Essential Upgrade playlist. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.